Well, this is the first time we've actually brought you this brand new set. We're in a new studio. Our parent company recently funded the complete renovation of this studio. As News 13's Courtney Evans tells us, it's been a long time coming. Since Hurricane Michael, News 13 has been working to revamp the news station. And four years later, our studio renovation is complete. It's an extensive process. This is a, a very sophisticated set that we've had. And, you know, as long as I've been in this business, in this area, um, this is by far the most sophisticated set of any that's ever been in this market. What makes our new studio sophisticated is the dozens of flat screen TVs and a new modern look to the display. This set will help us tell stories. There are tools and things with this particular set in there that will allow us to impart information to viewers that we weren't able to do. The studio also features state-of-the-art lighting. One of the things that we heard from viewers over the years is that our lighting was very dark and that we just looked dark on air. Mm -hmm. And so we spent a considerable investment trying to make a better presentation, make everything brighter. News 13 took into account viewer and employee feedback and implemented it into our studio renovation. For the people on set, you know, we took a lot of time to try and think about what makes life better for them as they're doing the news. I really hope the viewers understand the amount of work that has gone into and the investment we've made in the community to give this better this better presentation for them. In Panama City, Courtney Evans, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Of course, we'll continue to show you more parts of the set as each night goes on. You may be wondering what happened to our old set. Well, we donated that to Bay District Schools so the students are learning about the field of communications can actually work on a real new set. So we're proud of that as well.